Okay, so my final thoughts and review on this unit. I like it. I'm not going to lie. I think the color is super cute. I think this is very fall, um, like end of the year, winter appropriate. It gives an... On camera, it comes off like it's a little um, brownish. I don't know how to explain the color blend, but it's more like a, a brown burgundy mix. And then you have this little bit of strip of, um, of this reddish uh, tone here, like highlight in the front. I don't know why, but I think that's so cute. Like it's so random, but it's so cute. And it's only here in the front, like everything else is the same now it does give an ombre effect so like it's darker roots here and then it goes into the other color um now for my girls if you love thick wigs this is not for you this is not for you because the wig is super thin but i also feel like it makes it look natural like the parting space is just here in the middle but um the lace on this is super soft and it just blends into the scalp so seamlessly even without me having to put the got to be glue if i would have put the got to be glued and like actually laid the wig down it would have been like into my skin you wouldn't have known this was a synthetic wig and if i just show you even coming up close here because you know i cut my wigs jagged with um an eyebrow razor but like look at that look at the pre-pluck it looks so good and honestly, some of these synthetic wigs pre-plug game are looking better than the human wigs pre-plug line. So I'm going to need these real uh, Brazilian bundles and wigs uh, to come through with the pre-plug game. Like when we say pre-plug, this is what we're talking about for beginners like like that. And um, yeah, just like it looks so natural. Oh my gosh. Again, I'm filming late, so that's why I didn't glue it down because after this, I'm going to the gym and then I'm going to bed because your girl is tired. But I just wanted to crank this video out because I really think this unit is so cute. This is the Outre Aaliyah and I believe it's the cinnamon one. Um, I'll put the link to the wig down below. You guys already know. But um, the color, it looks so pretty. And um, oh my God, I didn't even show you guys. I don't even have my lighting up y'all please it is on the thinner side it is thin i i can't i showed you guys i i tried to put it with a nude cap but in the very beginning if you guys saw like it's so thin that if you manipulate it a certain way like your nude cap would show so i recommend to wear a black uh wave cap but even with the black wave cap, you guys can see with the press powder that I put in the parting, like it still looks very natural. I could go for a little bit more, but even with this, it still looks very natural. Um, now, as far as the texture, this is not a yaki texture at all. It's silky. It is extremely silky. So with that being said, let me warn you, I can see this wig. <laughs> um, if you're going to wear this on a hot day and you know you, you, you're the nape right here the nape is it's it's hot and it's hot back there and you're sweating it's humid it's going to mat up um even the ends i can see the ends even potentially also matting up too so it's all on just taking care of the unit i would just save this wig for like the end of the year for fall like this is cute or you know your birthday wig like it's cute and it's affordable and more affordable than getting a human hair wig for this color and this length. It would cost hundreds of dollars. No lie. For it to get pre-plucked. And, and even if it was pre-plucked, it still wouldn't look like this. Now, I will feature some um, human hair, like Brazilian type hair on my, or wigs, I'm sorry, on my channel. Um, simply because I, am, I, I wear them. I really do. But longevity and the quality of hair matters to me so before i feature it on my channel and i've been like rotating between certain wigs but there's a specific company well two specific companies when it comes to price and quality of the hair i really do like it i have bought from them a, a few times and i really do like it so when it's my birthday, I will feature the wig that is so far my favorite that I think it makes sense to buy it. That'll be in December, <laughs> in December though. Um, but in the meantime, for my girls who don't mind the synthetic wigs, who, you know, like to switch up, but don't want to, you know, um, 
pay a lot of money for it, but, or you just need a wig real quick, real quick for the go, because an event is coming up or whatever. This is this wig. Oh, braid your hair flat. If you have a lot of hair, like doodle -doo braids, big braids, jumbo braids, it's not gonna work. You have to cornrow your hair and make sure it lays flat because it's so thin, it's not going to give the same finesse. It will not. And yes, you can put heat to this um, unit. Um, so that's great. If what I normally do is like when the ends of my wigs, my synthetic units get trashy and they're like, um, but I still kind of like the unit. I'm not ready to get rid of it. Like I feel like it could still do like if this is all good, but the ends just need a little bit of touch up. I will cut a little bit of the ends up and then I will flat iron it out. And brings the wig right back to life but yeah as far as my final reviews this wig is everything it's really cute you know there's some pros to it there's a little bit of the cons that I mentioned but I mean it's bearable it's doable um get the wig but um yeah so that's it for this video um be sure to like comment and subscribe leave your comments down below and let me know again what you guys want to see um and yeah, just, um, oh, and turn on your post notification because your girl's trying to get consistent. Your girl's trying to crank out these videos. I really am. Like, life keeps hitting me with different things that I have to do. But no, I really do enjoy, like, doing the YouTube thing and actually doing it with your views. So just let me know what you guys want to see. And um, love you guys. Be safe out there.